All right, welcome to The Humble Chef. Today, we're gonna cook braised short rib. to get started. We're going to start with the vegetables and put this meat here in the back. Bust out the cutting board. Don't forget to wash your hands. We've done that already. Put the wine here in the back. Vegetables, we've washed already. Make sure we wash the vegetables. You want to wash everything you cook with. So we're going to do uh, a stew cut, I guess. We're going to do it on the bias. Give it a little See, just like that, about, uh, was that, half an inch thick. So a lot of the vegetables to cook perfectly while the meat cooks. I always carry a bowl around to help with the scraps. That way you don't have a big old mess to clean up afterwards. What we're going to cut, it's called oblique, like that, do a turn, pull it back, slice down, keep the same angle, I'm just doing half turns. Okay, for this, we're going to cut it in half like that, pull back, probably cut this into approximately thirds, depends on the size of the onion, nice big chunks like that. This will help it to cook evenly as we cook the, the short rib. Okay, we can put the vegetables aside for now. Bust out the short ribs. We're just gonna season these and marinate them. Okay, our marinating vessel right here. Just a little deep Tupperware. Salt, pepper. So I'm gonna season them right here on this platter that we have for them. That way we don't make a mess. Lightly season. Okay. After the season, we're just gonna slip them here in this container. Okay. Okay, this is very simple. Now we're gonna take our wine. This is any random red bottle of wine that I have laying around. I'm just going to do this. So we coat them. This has the bone in, so I'm going to put the, the meat side down. Keep, keep the bone up, because that's the part you want to marinate the most. Okay. Okay, now the veggies. Veggies are an important part of this marinade. It'll help keep the meat a little time here. Meat uh, submerged by pushing it down. Close the lid, nice and tight. And we'll put this in the fridge for 24 hours. Okay, so we had our short rib marinated for uh, 24 hours. It's gonna be ready to go here. We're gonna take it out of the liquid and drain it on these paper towels. Wanna make sure it's a little bit dry. We're going to try to give it a good sear in our pan. See that nice color that the wine has given the meat. Okay. Well, while the meat is uh, drying out there, we're going to take our vegetables and our liquid. We're going to strain it. Reserve our vegetables. And the, and the marinade. Once that's all drained, reserve these veggies. And I'll be going into our braising liquid later. Red wine, we're gonna use that to deglaze our pan with. So we set that next to the stove. This is complete, goodbye. Okay, so we have a plate here of flour, just regular all-purpose flour. Got that up. I'm going to dredge this in a little bit of flour. It's going to help uh, 
around the short rib a little bit more and uh, thicken the uh, sauce as the short rib braises. Okay, that's done. Just gonna go into the trash in the sink for now. So now we have our short ribs. We're gonna dust these all sides. Just need a real light dusting. Okay, so there we go. We got our dusting on there. Then we'll head over to the uh, the stove here, sear these off, and get this thing in the crock pot. All right, join me at the stove. Okay, here we are at the stove. I'm gonna get this on a high heat. <laughs> Use any old uh, vegetable oil. Now I'm not using a Teflon pan because I want this to brown nicely. So a nice heavy bottom pan. Okay, we have our hot pan here with uh, vegetable oil in it. Put a couple drops of flour in there, make sure we're ready to go. Put our short ribs in. So dust off the excess flour. Once again, put the meat side down. Bone side up. Make sure you space them out. Otherwise you're just going to steam them and not get that nice brown uh, sear on them. So that's why, why not just put it in the, the pot already without searing. So the sear helps create a uh, nice caramelized flavor and that builds up as it braises. So just sit there and let that sit. Let that sizzle away. Okay, once we get nice and golden on there, we're gonna do it to the other other few sides. <laughs> the other side we have here. To help get a nice even sear. Nice golden brown here. See how it's nice and golden on all sides. All right, I'm gonna put this into the crock pot now. Okay. Okay, we can leave that oil there. So the ve veggies we had, we're gonna saute these. Be sure to push that away from you so you don't burn yourself. I'm gonna saute this up. Too much. Just so they start to soften up a little bit. I don't want to cook them. We're just trying to kill that rawness off. Okay. Put it into the crock pot. Put the pan back. Deglaze with the red wine here. The marinated. The marinade from last night. Ah. Okay. So we're gonna reduce this by half to help concentrate the flavor and then add that to the stock pot. I do have some leftover diced tomatoes from the other night, so we're gonna throw that in there. It's about one cup. So we'll let that reduce down by half. And then we'll come back. All right, here we go. So I got this reduced by half. This is the red wine that we marinated the ribs in. We got a little tomato. Okay. Now we're gonna add our one can of uh, beef broth. Bring that to a boil. Okay, brought to a boil. Now we're gonna take this to the crock pot. Careful not to spill it. Okay, now with everything in there, meat on the bottom, bone side up. Wipe this real fast before we lock the lid in place. Make sure we have it on high heat. We'll leave it on high for about half an hour. If you don't have time for that in the morning, you can just uh, put it on low, still should be fine. 
I have to just make sure everything's hot before I go to work. Okay, snap that on. Boom. Half an hour, I'll turn the, the switch to low. And we'll come back in about six to eight hours and should be fine. The reason why I put it in the crock pot so that uh, it doesn't burn and I can leave it all day going to work knowing it'll be ready to go when I come home. Okay, just got back from work. Short rib is ready to go. Uh, about 45 minutes we're going to eat, so we're going to start our mashed potatoes. I've uh, peeled and diced, nice large dice, the uh, russet potato. Uh, it's about two pounds. Uh, should be good for four people. Uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to drain this water that I've rinsed them in. Nice and clean here. Okay, put this in the pot and we're just going to cover with water. Boom. Okay, now we're going to add a little salt. I like to season as we cook. I'll put that on the burner there. We're going to bring it to a boil. So we're going to start on the high heat and then uh, finish up on uh, probably around medium. Depends on your stove. Uh, <clears throat> I got an electric stove over here, so it's a little finicky. So probably medium low by the time we're done here. Okay, we're just about done. We're going to poke the knife in there. See how it just glides through. Potato just barely starts falling apart. Okay, that's when we know that we're complete. We've drained the water from the potatoes, so now we're going to add the. <laughs> we're going to mash it up. You want to mash it before you add the milk and butter. So I hope ensure that it stays fluffy and not gets gummy on you. Okay, we're going to season with a little salt and pepper. that mashed up like that the less you handle it the more fluffy it's going to be so we're going to add half this milk and butter this is about four ounces butter and about maybe one cup milk see how easy that incorporates it so we can go a little we'll go ahead and pour it all in now just wanted to make sure it wasn't too too loose. There we go. This is our mashed potato. Fluffy. It's gonna work good. Gonna go great with the the short rib we got going. Okay. Now let's get plating it up. Okay, guys. So we'll bring the. Finish short rib over here. Still in the crock pot. Okay, so we have our plate here. Just gonna take our potatoes, put them right in the middle. Make a little well for it. Got tongs. Take our short rib here. Sit right there in the middle. Then we have our veggies here. Drain that a little. Put this around. Okay. Now we'll just that aside, take some of this gravy here. Coat the short rib with that. There we go. Very short rib in the crock pot, completed.